you know, I really didn't want to do a video on this, but here we go. <laughs> Here's my baby. I'm doing so much work to her. Oh my god. And what we're focused on is an oil change. That's my bell. It keeps me safe in thunderstorms. Okay, so first of all, if you're trying to check your oil, I'll show you just how to do that. The service manual calls for this guy to be up on his kickstand. It's got to be level. It's got to be just like that. Level, see? Secondly, or thirdly, where the hell I'm at now, uh, there's a sight glass, which is old school, and you got to have a little light, and it's got to be in the good spot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on passenger side. <laughs> passenger side. <laughs> it's got two wheels. Who am I kidding? But just take a little light, something like this, and you look up in there, and trying to make sure you can see it. Come on, fucking phone. All right, and you can see, and you'll notice, oh, I can't tell, it's either completely empty or completely full. It's completely empty. Okay, so got a 19 millimeter, and down here at the very, very, very belly button, so to speak, and you just pop that off right there. Anyways, it's just a plug, and there'd be a little magnet on the end of it, you just clean the magnet off, so I'm not taking it back off or head it on. So I think everybody knows what a drain plug is. This is the cover. Got to pop this off, and I believe that's a 16 millimeter I got on there. Yeah, 16 millimeter, and that pops the whole uh, casing off. And there's some there's some uh, recent videos out of people changing these out. Um, don't do that. Don't do. They see these fins on here. This is a heat sink, and this is made to uh, catch the air racing by. And as the air races, um, it, it um, helps keep this cap cool. When it does that, it helps keep the oil cool. Well, if you change it to a traditional filter, um, that feature goes away. Your oil's gonna break down a lot faster. Your engine's gonna uh, take that much more wear. And that's uh, just the way how this is designed. And uh, this is nostalgic on top of it. So just keep this and don't do all that crazy shit where people are updated to a solid filter. <laughs> Okay, so I just changed mine, so mine's beautiful, nice, red. Um, as far as I know, it either comes in red or yellow. Yeah, so I'm gonna pop this bolt out. I'm just gonna push it. <laughs> okay, don't be overwhelmed. I'll show you what this is. Um, there's a spring in there, and there's like a little retainer clip. Don't mess with any of that. If you wanna change something, just change that seal right there and call it good. Okay, this is just the bolt my socket stuck on here still. Oh well, not, not worry about it. This is the outer seal, and if you get a kit that has that, um, I really suggest replacing that every single time. Uh, I just did my old change like a year ago or so, and I really don't care. So if it becomes a problem, I'll change it out. All right, so it looks like that. And you'll notice that what we're really paying attention to is this inner metal piece right here. Well, this gasket, that part that protrudes outward versus the recessed part, must press up against that. That's how it works, all right? supposed to be sealed so it can force the ju juices um, for the through the filter all right so check me out uh, pretend this is a new uh, new gasket right there and take him I'm gonna stick it up through here so he'll be less confusing and then I'm gonna take my fuck it that um, my spring spring goes like that you take the spring just like that you take the filter just like that come on you bitch come on you beach what the fuck are you doing to the, just like that. <clears throat> All right, she's good to go, and you just put her back in. Okay, and this hole here, this is not dipstick. This is old school, okay? This is how this bike is. Uh, 20W40 is the manufacturer spec. Standard uh, is what she asked for. Now you can do synthetic. Um, you know, it's just gonna last longer. But um, book calls for standard, so if you're all, hey, dude, the book is, then do it. Here's another little seal. Um, I mean, it's not real important. It's more like a vapor seal, more or less. But uh, yeah, so. All right, so here we are, um, all the way from Germany, uh, motorbike 20W40, blah, 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 mineral oil. Um, looks a little something like that. Way freaking fancy. This was expensive. I think it was like $70 or something. Um, $70 or something like that I got on Amazon. But anyways, uh, follow the directions. If you get a weird one like this, uh, you just basically pull the cap up and the whole nozzle 
comes up so that way you can pour it in the, uh, the tube over there and you're good to go. The book says it's 2.5 quarts and that's that's wet. Um, if it's dry, uh, in other words, brand new engine, shipped engine, it's like 2.9 or something like that. You'll figure it out. Oh yeah, I'm going to use my special oil and put half of this jug in it since it's 5 quarts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the oil. Oh, the juicy mineral. Oh, I like it, like it. That's right, you like the juicy oil? You touch it, go. Oh, you're going to like it. What I'm going to do to you next with the sparky sparky. It's going to go. <sighs> got a little gauge on the side here. Got to get us close. Like that. I'm going to get down about two and then I'm going to look at the sight glass. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, thank you so German for putting that on there. I don't know what I would do without it. Got three, a little bit more. You can see I stopped at uh, three there, and uh, well, it's not even registering on the sight glass yet. So there's a little pan down below. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I don't know what kind of minerals are in this oil since it has to be mineral oil, but whatever. <laughs> There she is, she is in the sight glass. As long as she's in the sight glass, her book, flat bike, um, on the stands like that, not on the kickstand, but on the actual like fix me stand, um, good to go. So I can do just a dab more, and uh, she's a bueno. And by the way, I spilled about a dollar. A little dribble right there cost me about a dollar. Don't worry though. And there it is if you look really closely. I have a top line and I have a bottom line. Oh, I'll cast a shadow. Then you can see it. Yeah. Alright ladies and gentlemen, you can see. There you are good to go. It is at the top. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's in liters. It still took two and a half liters. See? See? Two and a half liters? Yep. Like that. Into four. Um, I thought it was close. <laughs> Anyways, you'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, and then we put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Oh, yeah, yeah. German, German liquid inside my Japanese bike. Oh, yeah.